Okay, this video is going to show you how to use Clear Pack 4 for um, a comprehension and understanding activity and how you can also roll reverse it to do some spoken language activities. And I'm going to show you how you can do it at a two, a three and a four word level. Okay, so in the pack you get some pictures of animals, you get a red snake, a red frog, a green snake and a green frog and you get some pictures of places to put these these creatures so you get the sand pit a slide and a swing now in the original packs that you might see us use we have velcro and you can just about see on these pictures we've got velcros under the objects and on the objects So for a four word level instruction, we would ask the child to put the green frog on the slide. So first keyword is the color green. Second keyword is the animal frog or snake. Third keyword is the preposition on or under. And fourth keyword is the place. Okay, so that's how this is supposed to be used, this, this pack at four keyword level. If we want to make it three keyword, we take one of the elements away. Um, colours is the most difficult, so the best thing to do would be to remove one set of colours. And then we would say to the child, put the green frog on the slide. First keyword is frog. Um, second keyword is on or under, and third keyword is the place. Okay. If we wanted to make this a two keyword instruction, we would we could do um, we could take away one of the animals and just have one thing, so there's no choice of animal to find. Um, so if I said now put the frog on the slide, obviously there's only one place to put it. There's only one animal, sorry. So they have to choose on or under and and the place. So there it goes. Okay. Okay, so that was a comprehension activity, but we can also use this pack to work on a child's spoken language and developing their, their sentence structures. So the other thing that comes with these packs is a set of pictures. Um, what you can do with these is do a bit of role reversal so you can get your child to be the teacher if you ask them to pick a card and say they they pick this card then the idea would be that they wouldn't let you see it and they would have to describe what's on the card and then you would recreate it so we would want them to try and say snake on swing and then when you do that they can see it and they can say yeah well done um the other thing that you can do with with these cards is just get your child to to copy them um and that way you can talk about them um, and you can talk about, you can use all of the language that's involved that you're working on. So if your child's copying this one and puts the red snake on the sand, you can then talk about that. All oh, the red snake is, is on the sand. So that's how you would use these packs to work on spoken language and developing that sentence structure. With a bridging activity, what we want to avoid is breaking that instruction down so your child isn't having to remember the amount of keywords that we want them to remember. So if their instruction was put the red snake on the slide and they picked up the red snake, they were remembering that bit, but they'd forgotten the rest of it. We wouldn't want to say, oh, where's it go? Or it's on the, and giving them clues like that. If they picked it up to make it a proper bridging um, activity support, we would want to say, the whole instruction again so if they were holding it in the hand you would repeat put the red snake on the slide and then they're not having to remember the red snake part they're just having to remember the last part that on the slide and that makes it a proper um, bridging uh, support strategy